Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more medium level problem from lead code. The problem name is non-overlapping intervals. So the problem statement goes like this, that you are given an array of intervals, intervals where intervals of i represent start of i and end of i for every ith interval. You have to return the minimum number of intervals that you need to remove to make the rest of the intervals non-overlapping. Okay, let's take some small example to understand more clearly. So as you can see that you are given some intervals in an interval array and let's try to mark these intervals on a let's say number line to visualize it more clearly let's say that we have a number line like this let's say this is one this is two this is three so now let's say that we have an interval from one to two like this now we have an interval from two to three that is this so we interval from three to four like this and we interval from 1 till 3, that is, let's say, 1 to 3. Now, what you can see is that we have to somehow remove the minimum number of intervals from the array that we have, that is, this in like the different intervals that we have. We have to remove the minimum number of intervals such that the rest of the intervals are non overlapping. If I just remove this interval, as you can see, like just the last interval, then as you can see, if I just move this from this array, all the rest of the intervals will be non overlapping. Okay. And that is what we actually require in the end. Now, how can we do that? What you can see here is that it's better that whenever we have some intervals, we have to initially like sort out these intervals so that we can do some operations on it. Now, sorting intervals is majorly done on two ends. Like whether I will sort all the intervals from the, depending about the initial point, like whatever is the initial, uh, like you can see the left part of the intervals. I will sort them by the right part of intervals. Okay. Now, what you can see here is let's take an example that if we sort it from the left part, like left point, like left point means that if I have all the intervals and uh, if I sort them by the left half, or like, uh, the left uh, part of the interval, what you can see is if I just remove this part. And if I want, I have an interval like this. So one interval will be like, say, encapsulating all the intervals like this. And these are two intervals. If I sort these intervals by this order, then this interval that is starting from the very first will be the very first in the after sorting of these intervals. So it will become like this one, four. It will be two, three. And three, four. So these intervals will be like this after sorting. Now what you can see is that I will try to see how many intervals I can take. So if I take the first interval, because I have sorted this in this manner, all the other intervals will be overlapping with it and I will not include it. And that is a bad way because I'm, I have taken the one that is larger and that is starting from the very start and ignoring the one that are the other end. Why? Because if, if I've taken this interval in, let's say I'm taking an interval in the answer. If I've taken this interval in the answer, then I cannot take these two intervals because this intervals will be overlapping with this interval. So I cannot take this interval because I've taken this interval in the answer. On the flip side, what I can do is that instead of sorting them by the initial or left part, why not sort these intervals by the right side? So if I just uh, completely remove this out, If I uh, like sort them by the right hand side, as you can see, it will be like this two, three, three, four, and one, two. In this scenario, as you can see, I will take the first, I will take the second, and then because I have taken the first and second, the third one will be overlapping with these, so I will not take them, and the answer will be two. That is perfectly fine. So the overall idea boils down to here is that i will first sort out these interval by the right half uh, like the right hand side in the increasing order and then after that what we'll do is that i will keep on moving iterating over this interval from left to right and finding out that whether this interval is like you can see is acceptable with all the intervals i have till now which are not overlapping with each other and can i take this interval in that particular answer set so as you can see that i have no interval as of now so two and three is fine Okay, so now I will take the next element whether two like whether three and four is overlapping with this because 
I have the intervals up till now till three. So which means that I have taken an interval that is up till now to two and three. And because I have sorted them, all the intervals after three will not be overlapping with this. If I have any interval that is before this interval, like this interval, then that will obviously be overlapping with it. So I will have to only take intervals that is after three. So that is after or equal to three, that is also fine. So now I have taken all the intervals till four. So I have to now only take intervals that is after four. Okay. So this interval is like overlapping with this interval that is going all over the other intervals as well. So I will not include that in the final answer and I have to remove that. So the answer will be incremented. How many in, in, like intervals have to remove? In the end, I have just total number of intervals and the number of intervals I have to remove just went out of that. That is all logic for this particular problem. So let us move down to the code part. Now what you have done is that you have first sort out these intervals by the right hand side. So I have to write down some custom comparator function that is this to sort them by the like the rightmost extremities of the total interval. After that, I have this total and this last. Now this last what this last means that I have to first compare every interval like whether it is uh, overlapping with the previous intervals that we have in the array. So for that, it's very better to just mark that uh, that if I've taken this interval, let's say the other intervals should not. So I have taken one two, which means that I have taken all the way. I have taken all the let's say area from zero. Let's say like if I start from zero till two. So all the intervals should be right of two. It should be right of two. So all the area before and two should be fine. But if I have to start with the very first. Uh, let's say, uh, let's say interval. So I have to match it with all the area on the right hand side of something. Now, what is that something? What you can see is that the maximum value is negative here as well. That is minus five into 10 to the power four. So let's take it withdraw like more on the left hand side of this value that is minus 6,000, six and 10 to the power four. That is this. Okay. So what we have done is now iterating over all the intervals one, 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 one. And just checking out that whether the current interval left half is as you can see on the right hand side of the last interval I have seen. If it is on the right hand side, which means that it is greater than that, then that is fine. Then I will just make my last equal to the second value of the interval. So as you can see that if this interval is, if this interval is on the right hand side of this interval, then what I have to check that whether the first value is greater than the last value. So the first value that is this value should be greater than the last value and the last value will be updated with this value that is the last second value okay that's it and if this condition is not matching then what we'll have to do is that we have to say that this portal index is invalid so if we just find out that certain index is invalid that is uh, going on the left hand side of the area that we have already covered so i will not include that in the final answer and we just increment the total that that is a bad interval we just don't have to include that because it is overlapping okay and that's it. in the end we just printed the total number of intervals that are overlapping and we don't, we don't have to include that in the final answer and that's it. that's the complete logic in the code part for this particular problem this is sorting so o of n log n this is o like this is for loop so o of n so it is in total it is o of n log n for solving out this particular problem if you still have any doubts you can mention in the comment box for this particular problem i will see you in the next one three coding and bye